Next up, Hertz makes hay. Hertz project earnings. Hertz projects earnings to reach top range of forecasts. What's going on there? Well, demand is up in America. Woohoo! We got a swing back. We're doing business. Is it great? It's pretty good. It's not perfectly great. We still got some problems to manage. But business travel is definitely up. What does Hertz do when business travel goes up? It raises its prices. Duh! That's what you do when you have demand for your product and you can actually profit from it. So Hertz raises prices. Five dollars a day at airports, three dollars a day at off airports. Why? Because we had strong demand over the course of the summer. This was back in June. The question was, is, oh, are they, are they being too aggressive? Will the competitors follow? What will happen to Hertz? Well, what usually happens when you raise your prices? Profit up. Ta-da! Raise price, raise profit. Seems pretty simple here. So Hertz announces earnings increase from as low as $1 billion to somewhere in the $1.45 to $1.55 billion range. That's $500 million more cash than they thought they may have gotten. That's great. And where does this come from? Yeah, $5 a day to $3 a day. That's not a big price increase. Demand was up. People are traveling for business. They like the service. They're going with it. Pay attention to the demand of your market. Be bold, says Soltec Mesoamerican Wiglass. Dude, charge what you're worth. Hertz is a leader. Leaders got to lead. Do it. Be a leader. That was a lot of headline pricing in just a half an hour, says question mark rock man. So what am I supposed to remember in this little time here? Creative destruction happens. It can happen to you. We have the problem of Zulily. We have the problem of SodaStream. We have multiple businesses that just get creatively destroyed out of the place. Meanwhile, creative destruction can happen. It can happen because of you, where you create a new market, a market that did not exist before. You enter that market and you make hay. Be, care be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Number two idea, even crazy ideas can work. I mean, who would have thought people would want to make soda in their own home? Oh, soda Stream did, <laughs> and it worked. Okay, if it works, it works. Go for it. Not every business problem can be fixed through pricing. Sometimes the problem lies outside of your pricing. Focus and clarify what the problem is before you go and change prices. If it's actually a pricing problem, make sure you have facts that identify it as a pricing problem, not as a primary demand problem, not as a customer communication problem, not as a manufacturing problem, not as a regulatory problem. Focus on the problem that is actually there. Price should not be the first lever you pull. It should be one of the lighter ones after you have identified the problem. And when you look at Gucci, or you look at Taylor Swift, or you look at Hertz, what we're seeing there is clear opportunities for segmentation or improving your pricing. And when you find those opportunities, when you hunt and you find them, the payoff is huge. There's a reason why Taylor Swift's businesses make over $100 million a year. She defends her value proposition. Focus on those things. Thank you for attending the Wiglass Big Ideas Show, Headline Pricing, with me, your host, Tim Smith. Time for questions and answers. I have found where the questions and answers are posted. I will actually look at them. But as you prepare them, I'm going to give you a few slides, because this is well, our sponsor. You want to learn more about pricing? Attend my one-week, five-day intensive education course here in Chicago, Value-Based Pricing and Corporate Strategy. I'll teach you how to price. I'll teach you how to manage discounts. I'll teach you about pricing psychology. I'll teach you about how to structure your prices, unit, tiered, bundled. I'll teach you about pricing and your corporate strategy, how to actually 
get pricing done right. You want to know how to get pricing done right? Attend my course. It's there here in Chicago, November 16th to 20th. Reasonably priced for a good solid week's course. Small class. Looking forward to having you there. Arrange your budgets now.